Hello, rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft locomotive tutorial. Today, we're going to be building Santa Fe 3751, a 484 steam locomotive. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, when I build a steam locomotive here, I have this wireframe just to get the sizing right. But you guys don't have to build that, I'll just tell you where everything goes. Our first step is to take deep slate tile stairs, and we're going to get one in the middle, then come around the corner and back one on each side. Then turn on the back one, and we're going to come out one to each side like that. Then one on the top middle. Then we're going to come behind it here and we're going to put two upside down stairs facing backwards on each side behind it. Then turn back around and above those two right side up forward facing on each side. Then in the middle we're going to put another right. Then on the top layer behind it we're going to put a row of five polished black stone slabs coming out to each side here. Then we're going to do the coupler here. So we're going to turn around and on this middle second block we're going to put a dark oak stair right here. On the side of it two dark oak fence gates. Then on the center of the top here two chiseled polished black stone and two polished deep slate walls on either side of it. Then on this outside edge we're going to put a dark oak fence gate on each side and we're going to open those. Next we'll come underneath behind here to do our pilot wheels and I'm going to take out the wireframe here. And on that next block back we need to get a netherite wheel onto each rail with an end rod between them to be an axle. Then behind that on the upper hitbox in the middle, we need to put three polished blackstone slabs coming up the middle. Then right behind that, we're going to do another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we're going to put three dark oak fence gates in between the wheels and same thing on this side. Then we're going to put a skeleton skull on the side of each wheel and on the side of each wheel over here. Then, we're going to put a row of five polished black stone blocks on that top center above the pilot wheels. Next, coming off this middle block on the second layer, we're going to do a row of netherite up the middle, and that's going to be 17 blocks long in total. Then above it, we'll do another row of 17 netherite. I'm just going to knock out this framework above this polished blackstone here, and we're going to put another row of five polished blackstone. Then we're going to come up front on these top two middle blocks here, we're going to put two ladders. Then on each side of it, put a dark oak fence gate going sideways. Then we're going to come in between these wheels here, a polished blackstone in the middle, a deep slate tile wall on either side and on top of it. Do the same thing here, so polished blackstone walls on each side and on top of it. Then we'll do the main pistons here. So right here we're going to do two rows of three polished black stone blocks. Same thing here, two rows of three. And actually I'm not liking this up front. We're going to take out this dark oak fence gate up here and the slab underneath it. So that and that. Do the same thing on this side take out the fence gate and the slab. Then we're going to put a dark oak trap door on this corner here and same thing on this side. Then this pistons too far forward we're actually going to knock the front two blocks off from it here. On the front of it we're going to put a wither skeleton skull and a skeleton skull above it. Then in this corner a polished black stone block and a deep slate tile stair facing forward. We'll do the same here, so we'll knock off these two, put a 
block in that corner of polished blackstone, wither skeleton skull and skeleton skull on the piston, and a stair on that outside edge. Then behind this, in the middle here, we're going to put a column of four polish andesite coming up. Then two on the middle of each side. Then we're going to take polish andesite stairs upside down here, right side up here. Same thing on this side. Upside down here, right side up here. Behind that, four black stone blocks on this bottom middle, and four black stone stairs upside down on the side. Same thing over here, four upside down stairs. Then on the side here, we're going to do two rows of four black stone. Then four black stone stairs up here. Then four black stone blocks on the top middle. And two rows of four on the side. And four black stone stairs on this side here. Then behind that, on the bottom middle, we're going to do a line of polished black stone blocks. And it's going to be 18 blocks long in total to the back of this. Then we're going to come up so it's four blocks tall. And we'll fill in each side with two layers of polished black stone to the back of it. And we'll do the same thing on this side, the middle two, two layers of polished black stone. Bring it all the way back to the front here. Then we'll come underneath it and we'll put a full row of upside down polished black stone stairs under here, facing outward to the back of it. And we'll do the same thing on this side. A full row of upside down polished black stone stairs. Then we'll do a full row of polished black stone blocks on the top middle. And a full row of right side up polished black stone stairs on this outside edge. And then same thing on this side here. Then we're going to come underneath here where this netherite is, one block back from these pilot wheels, do three polished deep slate, one on the top middle. Skip a block in another set, skip a block another set, skip a block in another set. Then come through and put a polished deep slate on the middle of all four of these so it's a plus. Then we're going to come through in all these corners and put upside down stairs to round it off. Turn around the other way and put them facing this way in these corners. Then we'll come back through on the top, this time in these top corners with right side up stairs, and then back the other way in these corners. And that's for the driving wheels on this side. Then we'll repeat the process over here. So one block back from this pilot wheel, three polished deep slate, one on the top middle, skip one another set, skip one another set, skip one another set. Back through, a polished deep slate on the bottom middle of all four, and then we'll round them all off with polished deep slate stairs. So upside down stairs facing this way in these corners, facing this way in all these corners. Then we'll come up top with right side up stairs facing this way in these corners. Turn back around and facing this way in all of these corners. Then we'll do the driving rod, so take out polished diorite slabs coming off the bottom of that front piston and run a line all the way back to the middle of the rearmost driving wheel. I went a little too far there. Stop on the middle of that wheel. Then up on this front wheel, we're going to knock out the center slab and we're going to put in a polished diorite stair facing this way. Then up here, three slabs. Then we're going to skip between these first two wheels. We're going to knock out that slab as well and put in a stair. And then we're going to grab an iron trap door here. And we're going to put iron trap doors up here. Then behind this up here we're going to put three iron bars. 
and that's the driving rod completed. And now we have to do the other side. So same thing, coming off the bottom hitbox of this piston, a full line of polished diorite slabs coming back to the middle of the very back driving wheel. Then we'll come up here, knock out this one, put in a stair, and knock out this one and put in a stair. Up here, three polished diorite slabs, then right here, iron trap doors. Then up here, we're gonna do three iron bars. And I just realized in the edit, I never showed it here. Behind the back of this boiler, on the second and third block in the middle, we need to do two layers of seven netherite coming back. I'm just taking out the framework here. Then right here, we're gonna knock out this stair in the corner here. And same thing on the other side. We're going to put an upside down forward facing regular blackstone stair there, then one kitty corner and down one. Then we'll extend two layers of blackstone to the back of it. We got to repeat it on the other side here. We're also going to put a blackstone in that back middle, so a stair here and here and then two layers of blackstone to the back of it. Just like that. And then one on that back middle. Underneath this, one block back from the rear driving wheel, we need to get a row of forward facing, deep slate polished stairs coming out to each side of the tracks. Then behind it, we're gonna do another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle and then a hopper on the side of the wheel. Behind this, a row of polished deep slate stairs facing this way. Then we're gonna skip a block back and get another right on each rail again with an end rod axle. In this gap, we'll do a row of polished deep slate stairs facing the other way. Then a hopper on the side of the wheel, and behind this, a row of stairs facing this way again. Then I'm going to come over here and extend it all out. So the stairs should come out to the side of the tracks, so they're five wide. So extend all these stairs out, then put a hopper in front of the wheel on each side over here. Then we're going to come up under here. One more upside down, forward facing blackstone stair right there. And then blackstone blocks to the black back behind it. Do the same thing on this side. So one more upside down blackstone stair and a row of blocks to the back behind it. Then we're going to come up on the edge of this truck crouch and get four dark oak trap doors across the top of this here. And we'll do the same thing at the other side. So come up here and get four dark oak trap doors across the top of this truck back here. Just like that. Then we'll come up top here and we're going to extend this boiler back another two blocks. So we use two polished blackstone on the sides, one on the top middle, and outward facing stairs on each of the top edges. And bring that back two more blocks here. Then up here on this top middle, we're going to fill it in three wide with jungle wood planks. Then on the side, a block down from the wood, five polished blackstone, and an upside down polished blackstone stair facing forward. Same thing here, five polished blackstone, upside down stair facing forward. Then. We'll come above this and do six polished blackstone on each side on top of this here. And actually now that I look at it, I think this floor is too high. Sorry about this, but we're going to take out all this wood. And we'll take out these blackstone on this next layer down. And we'll move our floor down one block here. So fill this layer three wide with jungle wood to the back. Just like that. 
Then on the side here, one block forward from this black stone and one block above it, we'll do a 2x2 two two of polished black stone on each side up here. Then a column of two on each side of the front here, a column of two on each side of the back. In the middle, two polished black stone walls on each side, then three walls on each side of the back here. Then in these gaps, we're going to fill them all with glass panes for the windows. Then we'll come inside here and detail the cab. On each side of the front on bottom, a polish and a sight block. Then one up here in this middle, and then two on the top middle. On the sides, an outward facing polish and a sight stair on each side here. Then we're going to dig out this bottom middle block, put in another brick block, light it on fire, close the trap door over it. Then we'll put a lever on the bottom right, top middle, down here an item frame, and up there an item frame. Put compasses in them for gauges. Then we'll turn around, put a stair on each side for seats, whatever color you would like. Now come up under this corner here and put a forward facing upside down polished black stone stair right there. And then we'll do the same thing on this side, so that same corner, a forward facing upside down stair. Then at this top middle at the front of the cab, we're going to do two rows of three polished black stone blocks in the center, then two coming back up the middle, then behind that, we're going to do three wide and bring it back till it's one block past the end of this. On these outside edges, we're going to do a full row of polished black stone slabs from the front of the cab to the back here. Same thing over here. Then in these gaps here, there's these roof vents, so we're going to put in some trap doors. Two here, two on the other side. If you don't like how that looks, you can just fill it in with polished black stone block. Then there's all these tanks on the side here, so above the driving wheels, and right in front of this frontmost black stone stair, we're going to put a line of deep slate polished walls, and that's going to be six blocks long. And then of course we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. So right in front of this stair here, we'll do six polished deep slate walls. And there's also ones at the front here. So up here, we're going to start right above the front of this piston, and we're going to come back five blocks back with polished deep slate wall. Same thing here, five walls up here. Then on the front of that frontmost wall, we're going to put a right side up, forward facing, deep slate tile stair. Same thing right here. Then right behind that stair above the walls, we're going to put six polished black stone brick slabs. Then skip up one hitbox and bring those slabs all the way back to the cab. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So start right here, do six of them, skip up a hitbox and bring it all the way back to the cab on this side. Just like that. Then we're going to take out some dark oak fences. We're going to put two right here, skip down and back one, and a full row of dark oak fence gates to the back here. Same thing here, a full row of dark oak fence gates under here, and then two up there. Now come on top of the front on the third block back in the middle, knock it out, stack two blocks down in that hole, put a campfire in there, and get a polished andesite block above it for the smokestack. Then we're going to skip to the fourth block behind the smokestack in the middle, knock it out, put in a light gray shulker box. Then we'll leave a gap of three and skip to the fourth block behind that. We're going to knock out three stairs on each side of the top and replace them with polished black stone blocks. Then a three by three of polished black stone slabs on top of that. Then we're going to take out yellow candles skip a block back, put some candles there. Then behind it, a polished black stone slab. Then back here by the cab, an iron trap door on that side, a flower pot in the middle. Then we're gonna come up on the side of this steam dome here, 
in the center of it, put a dark oak sign. And we're gonna put 3751 on that. We'll hit that with white dye and a glow ink set. Do the same thing on this side, so a dark oak sign right here with 3751. Hit it with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then we need to make sure you have a space in your hotbar clear here because we need to type in a command. Come in your command menu, type slash the word give space at sign s space the word structure underscore void and then hit enter. And that'll give us the structure void block. In front of this steam dome, we're going to put a structure void on each side. Then on the front of that structure void, we'll put a dark oak sign with 3751 on each side here. We'll hit those with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then on the side of that structure void, another dark oak sign with 3751. And hit that with white dye and a glow ink sack, and then do it on the side over here. So another sign with 3751, hit it with white dye and a glow ink sack. In between here, we're going to open a dark oak fence gate, and then another one in front of it. Then, we're going to come up front here. On this top middle, put a structure void, and we're going to hang a bell off from it. Then underneath here, we're going to put a glowstone here, another one in front of it, two dark oak trap doors on top, take out the front one. Then, surround the rest of this glowstone on all three sides with a dark oak trap door. Then we're going to crouch up here on this bottom trap door, a dark oak sign with 3751 again. And we'll go ahead and we'll hit that with white dye and a glow ink sack as well. Then on the side here, up by the cab up here, we're going to put a full row of sideways dark oak fence gates coming forward until it's aligned with the smokestack up here. And then that front one we're going to open. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So come back here at the same level of these stairs. A full line of sideways dark oak fence gates until it's aligned with the smokestack. And open the front one. Under the front two, put two oak buttons. Same thing here, two oak buttons on the side right there. Then come between here and we're going to put two dark oak slabs like this. Then come one block behind the slabs, get another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we're going to do two rows of five polished deep slate slabs on the upper hip box coming out to each side of the tracks. Another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle and another two rows of five polished deep slate slabs coming out to each side. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then we're going to leave a gap of four here and on the fifth block another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. And we're going to repeat that truck design. So on the upper hitbox up here, two rows of five polished deep slate slabs coming out to each side. Another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Another two rows of five polished deep slate slabs on the upper hip box. And a final set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we're going to come through and we're going to put a hopper on the side of all of the wheels. Do the same thing over here, a hopper on the sides of all of the wheels. Then we're going to come in between here, between the two trucks on the center two. We're going to put two polished blackstone and we'll extend it out so it's three wide. On the outside edges, two polished blackstone stairs right side up facing outward on each side. Then we'll come up here, start at that slab and run a line of polished blackstone blocks back up the middle till it's one block behind the wheels. On the outside edge of that, we're going to do a full row of upside down, outward facing, polished blackstone stairs to the back of it. That same thing over here, a full row of upside down, outward facing, polished blackstone stairs on this side as well. 
Then we're going to come through on the top of these trucks here. And we'll have to crouch to do it, but everywhere there's a hopper, we're going to put a polished deep slate slab above the hopper. So it looks like that. Same thing for this truck. Slabs above these hoppers. Then we do the other side. Slabs above these three hoppers. One more corner to go. Slabs above these three hoppers. Just like that. Then at the front of this, five polished black stone blocks coming out to each side here. Then a full row down the side to the back of it. Come across the back here. And fill in this whole side with polished black stone blocks. Up to the front. Then come up front again, another five across the front. And start bringing it down the side. Except this time we're going to stop one block before the end. Come across right there. Fill in this side. So it looks like that. Then we're going to do another two layers of polished black stone block. Two high. Going all the way around. right down to the back here, come across the back, and back up this side. And once that's all boxed in, we're going to come on the top and fill the whole top middle three with polished blackstone blocks as well so it's completely sealed off. And bring that right down to the rear end here. Come on top of the back of this tender, one block in, three polished deep slate slabs in the middle, skip a block and another three. In front of that, we're going to run five iron bars up the center, and on this side of it, two black stone slabs like this with a space between them. In front of here, we're going to put an iron trap door, a flower pot iron trap door, then four iron bars up the middle. Then on this side, two flower pots, skip a block forward from the iron bars and a polished black stone block, and then an iron trap door on that other side. Then come down to the back of the tender here, knock out these three middle blocks, put in smooth quartz, and three ladders up the center here. On this side, we're going to open dark oak fence gates right here, put a temporary block under it, and open another dark oak fence gate, take out the temporary block. Repeat the process over here, so we'll put a temporary block under here, open two dark oak fence gates, take out that temporary block. Then up here, I messed up the shape. We need to take out these top two front rows of polished black stone block. Started going too far, only the top two. Fill this hole with polished black stone here. Then on this side, we're going to open two dark oak fence gates right here. We'll also put a temporary block underneath and a third dark oak fence gate. Take out the temporary block. Then we'll repeat it over here. So temporary block. Open three dark oak fence gates going up. Take out the temporary block. Then we'll put a dark oak fence gate, two of them on each side of these slabs. Same thing over here. Two dark oak fence gates on the sides of these slabs. And I'm still not liking this, so I'm going to take out this row of polished black stone. Fill in this hole with polished black stone. And we'll put polished black stone slabs across here. Then we're going to put three trap doors across here so you can get across from the locomotive to the tender. Then I wasn't liking how the cab windows looked and I tried three or four different arrangements which I've edited out for time but we need to change these cab windows how it is here so it goes a two by two of glass panes, two polished black stone walls in a column and a two by two of glass panes and change it to that on both sides so the windows look equal here. 
Sorry about that. I just edited out all the trial and error for time here. Now we need to make some banners, so come into a loom with a black banner and white die. Horizontal on top and bottom, then a diagonal. New banner. Vertical on the left and right. Horizontal on top, horizontal in the middle. New banner. Vertical on the left and right, diagonal. New banner. Vertical in the middle, horizontal on top. New banner. Vertical on the left, horizontal on top, horizontal in the middle. New banner. Vertical on the left, horizontal on bottom, horizontal on top, horizontal in the middle. Switch to black die, and we'll put a black border around every single one of these banners. Then we'll come out and place them. Under this cab window, we're going to put four item frames and use the banners to put ATSF. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So four item frames over here. Use the banners to put ATSF. Then we're going to come back on the tender. We're going to start from the back, leave a gap of five, and on the fifth top block, use your banners to spell out Santa Fe. with a gap of space between the words. Then we'll do the other side. So same thing, leave a gap of five and on the sixth block, use your banners to spell out Santa Fe. Now come back into the loom with black banner and white die again. Vertical on the right, horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom, horizontal in the middle, new banner. We're gonna do a diagonal horizontal on top, new banner, vertical or horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom, diagonal, new banner, vertical in the middle, switch to black die and put a black border around all four of these. Then we'll come place these and this is also for the tender. We're going to start under the letter N here with these banners and we'll put 3751. And we got to do the other side, of course. So we'll put 3751 under here. And actually, I started too far over here. It needs to start under the letter N. So 3751 right here. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our 484 steam locomotive, Santa Fe 3751. I hope you enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.